Hi, my name's Grant Whitehead from Wallfire Streaming. I want to show you the second TriCaster mini rack that I've made, and the first for this continent in Australia. What we have here, to start with inside, I have a UPS um, tucked right in the back is a uninterruptible power supply. To get to the power is right just down the side and there's a little button, you click that in and that starts the power for the whole rack. At the front, right at the top, we have a 10 channel audio mixer. This, this was set in this rack um, for this particular client because they wanted to have a lavalier microphone and a handheld microphone built into the rack ready to go at any point. And so we have those connected, right? At, and so we have uh, the lapel and handheld. We also have two front inputs, makes it really easy to connect a room microphone in, um, another handheld, whatever, uh, to work with this. And having a tactile control in the rack is very handy. This also, incidentally, has Bluetooth, and so you can connect your phone and play background music and that sort of thing into this mixer. We move down, we see the TriCaster Mini itself. It's the HD4 with the um, preview or the program monitor out built into the screen. Everything that's connected into the sides um, is brought forward into the forward or either to the back. So there's no need to connect anything into the sides to be trying to get into the sides. It's all on the front or on the back. And so that's why here I've got two USB 3 ports and over here a LAN port uh, coming from a router, wireless router that's inside the rack and the headphones from the TriCaster is brought forward here. And then there's just enough room for a drawer it keeps a laptop and, and the microphones and that sort of thing. So we'll go around and have a look at the back of the rack. At the top we have a Shure, the Shure receiver for the lapel and handheld. So two channels, XLR going out of that back into the mixer at the top. So that sits at the top there. Now we have a patch panel which has a WAN output, so uh, sorry, a WAN input for internet in ethernet into the router um, then there's a LAN output or you know an, an ethernet port to connect another computer or what have you two USB 3 ports from the TriCaster so you easily plug in a thumb drive or an external drive to record to we then brought forward the USB 2 port from the um, from the router to be able to plug in an LTE modem, and that's what that is connected there at the moment, which enables live streaming from the cell network. We then have an HDMI out number two from the front side of the TriCaster. Then we have the DVI-1 and DVI-3 outputs as HDMI outputs here, ready to be able to connect in a main monitor um, and also an extra for multi-view. Then we have three inputs HDMI inputs. Now there's four inputs on the TriCaster and one of those is being taken up by a barcode click share. Another thing that the client wanted particularly because they they swap computers all the time and the click share works very well being able to switch laptops out very easily. We then come down to the power strip. Everything's labeled here, the TriCaster, the Alesis mixer, the Shaw receiver, the Netcom router, and the ClickShare device are all connected there, and that all goes into the UPS. So that's the back of the rack. As you can see, it's very easy just to be able to connect everything. Rather than getting into the side of the TriCaster, you can connect directly into the back of the rack. And like a rack on wheels, it has the front and back that go on neatly. So that's the latest TriCaster rack that I've made. If you have any questions, post a comment on this video and I'll be happy to answer for you. Thanks.